Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you're new to the channel guys, click subscribe. And for today's video guys, we'll be talking about Splinterlands. So for Splinterlands guys, we now have a preview of the new card. So we have here a post by Flowey, which is one day ago. And Chaos Legion, all cards revealed. Okay, so we have here his post guys, uh, our co-curator. So... Right here guys, the cards and skills listed below are not the confirmed final version so and might be changed before the release of the Chaos Legion. So this is just a uh, preview but it may or may not be changed. So we have a giant killer for the new skills. Does double damage against targets that cost 10 or more mana. Wow! This is a great counter for those that have um, big mana like we have uh, monsters that are big in mana like uh, this one, Molten Ogre, um, others that are, um, what do you call this, um, legendary, so... Mm, let's see here we have monsters like dark haon so those are the likes and we have recharge recharge these monsters uh attacks every other round but does three times three times damage guys so this would be a devastating skill for a monster to have so it's like a power up we're in one monster is um, on a Super Saiyan mode. <laughs> so this is a great addition for uh, the new cards. And we have Scattershot. Scattershot, this monster attacks, hit a random enemy target. So this could be a miss or hit. Why? Because especially for monsters that are... Uh, having shields guys um, if they attack the monster that have shield uh, this could be a I mean a a blunder but if this one attacks a monster without a shield uh, they could hit them um, well especially if they are on the second or the back lines uh, this could uh, mean a win or lose for a player so we have here the new cards we have the far summoner Tarsa and actually guys, I'm looking at Tarsa like he is a, a what they call this, a meta because for the low mana cap for fire, we have summoners, um, what they call this, we have here Malric and Pyre. So it is like a combination of these two because of the one melee attack and the one uh, added speed. So this could be a good meta for fire. We have common uh, Regated Scorcher with 1 mana cap plus 2 attacks. This is a good card guys. This is a common card. I think this will be a meta. Especially if uh, the skill will be available. This is a meta. Even if it's just a common. Uh, I would say this is a meta guys. Especially if you pair it with Tarsa or Malric or some other uh, Fire Summoner that could uh, add up. Especially if we have the all sneak ability for monsters, this will be a good addition into your deck. We have Lava Spider guys, um, with a 3 mana with 5 speed guys, wow, this is a good card, A common these common cards for fire are really looking good guys. We have Regated Brute. With 5 mana cap, with 5 attacks, 5 speed, and 6 health. Plus, on a level up, up to level 6, it has a... I think this is stun. Do we have this uh, ability? Uh, I don't have it at the low rank because I'm in silver. But this is a good card, guys. This is a good card. Uh, wow. We have Scabo Chemist. This is a... 2 mana card with 5 speed and it adds up a cleanse and it is like a good uh, addition into your card because 
it adds up <laughs> um, a lot of uh, buffs and debuffs guys okay we have Antoid Platoon wow a pretty decent tank at 4 mana cap guys with 3 attacks, 3 shield 5 health plus it has this uh, ability what is this ability um, I normally look into um, the cards that are I'm using which card is this one I think this is uh, shield so reduces the melee and range attacks plus it has the scavenger ability wherein if any of the monsters die it would add up to the health this is a good card again guys we have scabo firebolt wow with the stun guys look at the attack with the four mana cap if you look at this one if this will be added to yodin sako just imagine for that one guys we have tenji striker which is an assassin at five mana cap guys with seven speed with six health oh my god this is a good card i think fire would be a a chaotic one I'm looking forward for this one. Tenji Striker. Tenji. We have Jin Apprentice. Wow. It has this ability. Um, I think this ability is just added for uh, the cards that we used in... I know. I thought this was the one. Uh, the Bloodlust for... What they call this? For um, Brawl. But we have the new ability included with him. So this one, wow, this is a powerful uh, mage or magic damage for fire. We have Molten Ash Golem. Wow, this one could attack on the front line. It has the taunt and I don't know if what is the other ability. Um, I'm not yet particular because I'm on the low rank. But do we have that one? Um, all cards in far uh, we don't have ah we have here reduces health guys it reduces the health of the opponent wow we have an epic one the forgotten one wow guys epic with a six attack and ten health with five shield oh my god just imagine if this one will have a reta retaliate just imagine the six attack for retaliate we have Tusk the Wide. Wow. 14 health. With 6 mana cap, guys. And has a void. So we have a decent tank with a void for fire. Which could counter a lot of magic damages. We have Jin Inferni. Another magic damage. Plus this new ability. Guys, we have the uh, Giant Killer. Wow. We have here legendary Ifrit Rising. Ifrit Rising has the new ability, which is the three times damage. Wow, just imagine the 12 magic damage if this four will be multiplied by three, guys. Wow, we need to have this one, Ifrit Rising. If we could not have it uh, on the opening, we'll try to buy one. <laughs> uh, this is pretty exciting to have. We have Scorch Fiend, which adds up speed. And then, yeah, that's it for, for fire, guys. That's pretty much a pack and wild uh, fire combinations that you could do with the upcoming cards. So stay tuned. Next, we have Water Summoner. So we have Summoner Ken Kelia Friendol so wow this adds up speed and shield wow this will be a good pairing with the uh, wave smith because it adds up another two shields wow we could see a meta with with this combination plus a genoshanos would be good <laughs> with the void we have hardy stonefish with one mana cap guys two attack two speed uh Two shield and three health. Wow. This is just a common, but I mean, 
this is a good card to be added into your deck especially for the low mana cup we have kulu swim hunter wow a four range attack with the four mana cup wow we have cruels cetropod with three attack five shield guys five shield with seven health with just three mana and this is a common card these common cards are uh, gonna be good addition into the deck guys even if they're just common i mean you look at the stats they are pretty pretty good with just three mana cup we have flying squid which is wow could you catch up with this one <laughs> he has seven speed 10 health with three attack at seven mana we have deep lurker five attack four speed and seven health it has uh what do you call this attack i forgot this one the ability it's uh opportunity we're in it could attack any opponent at any position guys wow wow plus the poison once it is at level six we have a rare angelic mandarin wow plus it has a shield at level four this is a range one we have murderly horgian this is a healer for water guys a healer at level one okay we now have a healer plus it has a repair shield and um what do you call this one uh it adds up health once it is maxed out wow this is a great boost for water guys next we have diamond shark diamond shark this is a pretty decent tank wow i think i love this one <laughs> it's like a predator we have river nymph which has a similar skill uh, i don't know if this one is um will add up to the thorns and the other uh, return abilities i think this is the one so this is a good addition we have epic wow a five magic damage narisa tridon wow just imagine if you add another one magic damage for this one this is a must for water guys narisa tridon this is a must for water because we all know how devastating water and the magic damage in the low ranks we have wave brood wow it could be a tank because it has the uh, i think this is a taunt ability wherein it would be the main target of all the monsters that could uh attack it so this one with 14 health wow plus if you go to its level 3 guys it has the heal ability wow a pretty good tank that could heal nice one we have igor dark spear guys just look at the mana it's just two decent health at five the range attack is three plus the skill stun once it's at level four wow these are pretty good cards guys i'm pretty stoked we have a legendary uh we have river helondale with one shield four health three magic damage plus I think this is the revive uh, ability uh, the usual ones that I saw in terms of this one is life we have uh, I think chances uh, what's the ability for this one resurrect it's the resurrect guys resurrect it will uh, revive a monster so we have torrent fiend which is a zero mana with one attack to help and then this is a legendary once it's level four it has this um dodge uh dodge like ability for water and i think this is just uh for now we will continue um on the next video for the part two so we've covered two uh what they call these elements so we have fire and water so let's not have a long video for now so this is just a preview for those two waters and 
um, let's just make a part for this one so that we could not make a very long video for now guys so again if you're new to the channel guys click subscribe and then shout out to project ace to our ngsp krsm fam to the zgg guild to the flirians and howl out to all the uh, wolfsden supporter guys so that's it for me guys see ya mm -hmm.